Hello friends and welcome back to Virtual Happy Hour. It is the one year anniversary of Virtual Happy Hour. That's right, I started this little journey first day of lockdown here in Ottawa, March 16th, 2020, and we're here a year later. We have made 175 cocktails, had one notable shaker explosion, which I shared to my story earlier in case you missed it, back in May or whenever that happened. Uh, made lots of new friends. Thank you for joining me. There's quite a few more of you here than there were when I started this little journey a year ago. Um, lots of laughs, a few tears. It's been quite the journey. Thank you for joining me. I am doing a big giveaway, um, which I'll be sharing to my feed right after this. So head there, follow the instructions. You can win a comprehensive home bar essentials gift pack from Chef's Paradise, my good friends, longtime partners and believers, where I teach some of my cocktail classes. You know, they've been here since pretty much the beginning of this journey and supporting me and I'm very honored to be able to work with Ottawa's premier kitchenware, barware, wine, accessories store. It's been in business for 100 years. Who better to partner with to celebrate the one year anniversary today? Making an original cocktail. We're continuing with our getaway in a glass. I am dubbing this cocktail the man eater because I feel like that's a great representation of me even though I haven't eaten much lately, quite starved actually. So, you know, keep that in mind. This is a gin based tiki drink. Serving it in a tiki mug. If you don't have a tiki mug, use a highball or Collins glass. Aside from gin, I'm using apricot brandy. If you don't have apricot brandy, you could use regular brandy or you could double up on the orange liqueur. I am using uh, Pierre Ferrand dry curacao, great orange liqueur, pineapple juice, mango juice. If you don't have one of these, just make up the other juice with whatever it is that you do have, whether it's pineapple or mango. I'm using Orjot, which is an almond tiki syrup. If you don't have Orjot, use a honey syrup, use a different kind of sweetener. Again, as always, it is about participation, not perfection. We're gonna add an ounce and a half of gin into our shaker. I started this, if you've been here since March 16th, literally filming with one hand, making a cocktail with the other. It's quite messy, hard to watch. But on that first night, several of you made the drink, I think it was called Elysian Nights, Parisian Nights. It was like cassis gin cocktail, half an ounce of apricot brandy or regular brandy. That's what you've got. And several of you on that first night made the drink, used the hashtag virtual happy hour, you tagged me. I know lots of people sent me DMs saying, what a great idea you thought it was. Half an ounce of orange liqueur, ounce and a half of mango juice. And so I just went out the next day, went to Henry's, bought some lighting equipment, proper stand for my phone so I wouldn't have to shoot and hold my phone at the same time. Much easier this way. You can get a better view of me, which I think is really become your favorite part of this whole experience. One ounce of pineapple juice, three quarter ounce of freshly squeezed lime juice. And because I wanted to show you how to make classic cocktails, teach you a little bit of cocktail technique and history, I really focused heavily for the first few months on three ingredient cocktails, letting you put to work whatever was languishing on the back of your home bar cart half an ounce of orgeat. Uh, and a lot of you would, you know, slide into my DMs. We were limiting our, our trips outside the home. And so as a result, I was quick to offer alternatives and it quickly became my tagline. It's about participation, not perfection. I've smashed some ice with my Lewis bag and mallet already. I'm gonna fill up my tiki glass kind of half or two thirds of the way full with this crushed ice. Excellent. I'm gonna give this a shake. I didn't start saying hello friends. I went back and watched the first episode. I said, hey guys. And then I quickly realized that every influencer starts, hey guys. And it's like super annoying. So I quickly pivoted 
to hello friends and that's because I really think of you my friends you guys have kept me company during this very lonely and isolated last year and I'm so grateful for it thank you no major maldrobe no major wardrobe malfunction yet but we've done made cocktails in the bathtub in bed doing yoga foam rolling Wearing a face sheet mask. That was a popular episode. Quite full here. Now we're gonna mound, we're gonna add two straws. We're gonna mound the rest of our ice on the top of our man eater. We're gonna do a cool garnish situation. It's okay. You make a mess. So I've really sort of pivoted my focus away from prior to starting Virtual Happy Hour. I would really make involved, difficult drinks that were really designed for other mixologists, not very accessible. And I pivoted to speaking to the home bartender and educating and making it fun. And accessible. Okay, so I've got some, I have a spent lime shell here. Let me move this out of the way so you can see what I'm doing here. So I'm going to fill this up with some overproof rum. And I'm going to take my very stylish barbecue lighter because I still haven't got a new regular lighter. It's gonna be very hard to see the flame because it's like blue. That is on fire. Now we're gonna take some cinnamon. It'd be easier if it had like a finer mesh situation, but we're gonna create some flames here. There! Excitement! Drama! There you go. And there you have your man eater. Blow out your flame. Tip your overproof rum into your drink. And now you have your, your man eater. Cheers. Head over to my post that I am about to hit post on and enter to win the $300 value Home Bar Essentials gift pack. It includes a Boston shaker, a Hawthorne strainer, a muddler, a jigger, a speed glow, perfect um, mixing glass, uh, Riedel bar specific, um, drink specific barware, so it's six different glasses, single rocks, double rocks, Collins, sour glass, Nick and Nora, and highball glass. And then we've got some barfly cocktail picks, a barfly mixing spoon, and an ice tray. The giveaway is open until next Friday. I will announce the winner on March 26th in virtual happy hour. This is my only account. Do not believe the imposters. I'm trying to jump on the train too late. I would not ask for your credit card information, people, okay? I will announce it next Friday in my story. The winner will receive a DM. I will not ask you for anything aside for you to confirm that you live in Ottawa or Gatineau because that's where it's open to and that you're in the dumps. Cheers. It's just delicious. It's just so good. The man eater. She's a man eater. She'd like to be. Thank you for joining me for the last year and for joining me this evening. I hope you make the man eater and uh, you know, share in your story of what you can do to help me is help me grow my audience, share your favorite uh, drink from the last 175 cocktails, which all live in my highlights on my profile, share your favorite to your story, tag me or, or share your favorite memory of virtual happy hour. Really appreciate it. Thanks guys. Friends, not guys, friends.